Welcome back to part two of this video for creating a uh, miniature basket pattern in Corel Draw for the scroll saw. And in the first video, uh, we began the uh, steps of creating the weave pattern and we completed the outside part of the uh, pattern. And in this video, I'm going to complete it by completing the inside part of the pattern. So let's go ahead and get started. You'll remember in the in the uh, first video, I took the larger circle, centered it, centered the line, and we rotated the line um, around the uh, the circle to create our divisions and uh, created the curve and then rotated the curve around those divisions. We're basically going to do the same thing here, only in this case we've obviously selected the smaller circle, which will be the inside of the pattern. And uh, when we select the line to do our rotation this time, instead of starting out at the zero angle, zero degree angle of the pattern, we need to offset this by half of the nine degrees that we used in the first rotation. So we're going to change this to 4.5 and in this first example with the line selected we're going to hit apply instead of apply and duplicate because we actually want this to be our beginning line. So we can click apply and that rotated it around our circle by four and a half degrees. Now we can go back and change this rotation to 9 and we can complete uh, the rotation around this circle with the apply to duplicate to uh, complete all the dissections that we need. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and this is exactly like we did in the first video so um, I'm going to go fairly quickly here because you need to go back and review the first video if uh, this doesn't make sense to you. Now, just like we did in the first video, we're going to magnify into one of these sections. Again, we're going to make sure that our snapped objects is selected like in the first video. We're going to go back again to our visor tool. We're going to create a line between two of the intersections, just like the first video. We're going to go to our shape tool. Just as in the first video, we're going to convert it to a curve by right clicking and clicking the convert to curve. Now this time in the first video we actually moved the curve this direction. In this case we're going to move it down this direction. So move your cursor to the line, left click and drag this curve down this direction uh, approximately equivalent to the way you did the curve in the first video in the up direction. Once we have that we can go ahead and zoom back out so we can get a better look at what we've got. Again we're going to select that curve double click on it just as in the first video we're going to grab the rotation point move it to the center of the larger circle and just as we did in the first video we're going to move this in nine degree increments around this circle so we're going to do apply to duplicate and move these curves around the inside of this circle and what we're doing here obviously is creating the inside part of the pattern but the difference is it's slightly rotated from the other pattern and I'll show you that here in a second when I put these together. So now that we have that done, we can go ahead and create the circle. We no longer need that or delete the circle and we can delete all these guidelines because obviously we no longer need these. So I'm going to take just a second here and delete all these guidelines and then we'll put the two halves of the pattern together and uh, then I think you'll have a good idea of what we were trying to accomplish here if it hasn't become clear already. Um, I'm not going to take this video to its completion as far as uh, welding these two pieces together. Um, we've done that in other videos and I think you can probably figure that out on your own. Uh, I have these all deleted. I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. And in this case we already have this one centered, the smaller circle. So I'm going to select, oh let's go ahead and group these while I'm at it before we forget. Select the smaller circle in its entirety, arrange and group so we have one object now grouped or multiple objects grouped together. Select your larger outline of the pattern, press the P key to group that together. Now when we zoom back in on this, again we were trying to duplicate this pattern. I think you'll see that we've successfully accomplished that task. And the one thing I wanted to show you here was the offset that I was talking about. You can see in the top part of the video the outside of the weave pattern is here and on the inside it's here. So it gives us a better weave pattern. It just looks a little better. Um, I'm going to take this uh, pattern into the workshop next and go ahead and cut this pattern out for you. And that'll be a, a video that I'll put up in a day or two. Uh, but basically the uh, steps of this will be to cut four of these, cut the bottom, cut the top, 
place the handle on it, glue it all together, and we'll have our basket. So that pretty much completes the process for creating this weave pattern. Uh, I know it seemed a little complex, but uh, it's a technique that you'll use over and over again in other types of patterns. So I wanted to go ahead and take you through it uh, with this basket and uh, it gave me a chance to uh, put up another free pattern for everybody to download. So let's call this video over and um, don't forget to go to www.scrollsawworkshop.blogspot.com to download this free pattern. Hope you enjoy cutting it. Um, if you do and you want to send me a picture of it to post on the web, please do. And we'll catch you in the next video. Thanks a lot.